you know, he took the company from uh, when he first came in, there were about 15 or 20 of us and maybe a half a million dollars in sales to 135 people and over 20 million in sales. So he certainly knows how to, uh, uh, to uh, take a, a group of people and get them as productive as possible and you know, lead, and it's really a true leader. That's one of the things that I really uh, respect about Jim is that he, is, uh, he knows how to lead. One of the types of, of business leaders that had a great eye for talent and, and a great eye for recognizing what people's strengths and weaknesses were and to, you know, help you. You know, he did a lot of work with me personally and helping me, you know, build on my strengths and, you know, shore up my weaknesses. And I think, again, you know, when you take that to what he wants to do in Washington, I mean, there are strengths within the U.S. government that, you know, we can, he can build on and there are a lot of weaknesses uh, where we've sort of let ourselves, again, you know, stray off the path. And he's the type of guy that has the uh, ability to get people thinking about where we, sh where we should be going uh, instead of where we are going. We sort of missed uh, our, or lost our way in terms of you know, fiscal responsibility. And that's one of the things that Jim uh, always did when I was working for him. I mean, he was very good at making sure that we stayed fiscally responsible within the company. Uh, so that we, you know, we spent our money the right way, and we, uh, you know, did the right things, you know, by the shareholders. I think that's one of the things he's going to bring to Washington is that ability to, to make sure that that we are fiscally responsible. There's a there's a feeling out there that we're spending way too much money, uh, and that the only way we're going to be able to try to solve that is now to tax, the, you know, the middle class. But you can't tax your way out out of a out of a financial problem, and you just can't continue to to spend. So what? Jim's uh, uh, philosophy and beliefs are is that you've got to you've got to control your cost. You've got to stop spending, cut the budget, uh, and stop the wasteful spending. Is really uh, what's what uh, he believes and we need to do. He's not a Washington politician, so he's he understands what it takes to bring jobs back to America, and that's one of the things that one of one of the several things that you know the country is really struggling with today is getting people back to work. So Jim, as, as a, an entrepreneur, as a small business owner and, and, and leader, knows what it takes to create jobs.